What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to connect the BME280 sensor to the Arduino Nano Every to start getting readings, that is temperature, pressure, and humidity in real time. And I'll also be showing you how to get the altitude from the sensor as well, relatively accurately, all within this video. So before we jump into it, I just wanna say, if you haven't, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel because there's a lot of content for beginners and intermediate regarding sensors like this and other microcontrollers such as the Raspberry Pi Pico and Pico W. And also, if you want to, please consider donating to the channel. It would mean a lot to support such content. So that being said, let's just jump into it straight away here. We can see with this very simple diagram, we just need four jumper wires connected from the BME280 to the Arduino Nano Every. And this is really easy because it's using I2C communication. So you can just set up exactly like this and be sure not to mix these uh, the VCC pin and the ground pin here because that can actually fry your sensor. So just be careful with those. And of course here we just have the SCL and SDA pins for I squared C communication. Now other BME280 sensors may look a little different, but just know that the connection here is always gonna be the same no matter what color or shape your BME280 sensor is. So that's all for physical connection. Now, once you have it powered in, we're going to jump to the Arduino IDE and I'll show you how to get set up there. So first things first, in the Arduino IDE, I would imagine you already have connection to the Arduino Nano Every in this case. If not, you can find the board in the boards manager and you can find the Arduino Nano Every in one of these packages. It's not that difficult. And once you have that, you can just connect to it basically how you connect to any, Ar any Arduino or any uh, microcontroller in the Arduino IDE. And once you are connected to that, what you want to do is you want to go to Library Manager and search BME. And we're going to use the Adafruit BME280 library. It is a great library. It makes, th makes things much simpler to get readings from the sensor. And you just want to download it. Right now, I'm currently downloading 2.2.2 as of the time of this video. And make sure you install all related dependencies. And it should install within a matter of seconds if your internet connection is pretty quick. So that's the first step here. Make sure you download that. And once you have that... The next thing you want to do is you want to open an example they have. So thankfully with these Adafruit libraries, they have great examples. So let me just move my head over to the side there. They have great examples where you can just go to examples here and file, and you can just do Adafruit BME280 library. And I'm just gonna go to BME280 test, okay? So once that's open, actually I already have it open in another window but we can just do it here. So we have this test code right here. And one thing we're gonna have to do, at least with my BME280, is that we're gonna have to change the address here. So we're actually gonna have to uncomment this. And I'm going to delete this wire too, we do not need that. And maybe for your BME280, it might be 77. But in this case, mine is 76 hex hexadecimal. And then we're just gonna comment this out. So that's what you have to do if you're um, using the BME280. I'll link that one in the description down below if you don't have a BME280, by the way. So that's the one I'm using is the one in the description down below. And we can just upload this straight to our Arduino Nano Every if we have everything connected. So we have this. It already has a bunch of example code here where we're going to get the temperature in degrees Celsius, the pressure in HPA, and the altitude. And in order to get a more accurate altitude, what they have is they have this sea level pressure in HPA so what you can do is if you're in a popular city, you can Google the sea level pressure in your city and you can just put it there. So I'm just going to put the sea level uh, pressure in my city. I'm looking at another window and it's on the website. I currently live in Austin, Texas. So I'm just going to put 112.25 and I just Google this. It comes from the Austin airport. So they update this maybe like every 20 minutes, but I would imagine each city has some form of measuring the sea level pressure. So I'm just going to go and save that and I am going to uh, upload this to my Arduino. We should have everything set and I think everything is right. So let's go ahead and upload it. Uh, we have to put a, where is this? We have to put a semicolon there. And let's go ahead and upload it now. Okay, so wait for it to upload. You may get this little error here, which is, it's not really an error. So we'll just let it upload. That kind of threw me off at the beginning. But if you open your serial monitor, you should get everything there. So let's go to the serial monitor. It still hasn't uploaded. Let's go to serial monitor and see, you could see it started displaying the values in real time. And what's even cooler is that after putting the, the sea level pressure in my area, it does get the altitude relatively accurate, at least for me within five meters, which is pretty accurate. Let me know what that turns out to be for you if you're able to do that. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Once again, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed this and if it made your life easier. And also consider donating to the channel. As I said, it would mean a lot to support the content because you know that means a lot to me as a content creator on YouTube. And if you guys have any questions, let me know. Stay tuned and thanks for watching, guys.